the Christ I came to know through his grace. I'll die for him any second. I do not give one penny with all love and respect, no matter what happens, because the Christ that came and revealed himself to this piece of wreck is the only one. He is my King, my Lord, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer forever. Christ is calling us to love him. He is not calling us to follow a set of rules, guidelines, and regulations. And let me say this to all the religions of the world. You're talking about you must fast and you must do this and you must you do your penances and whatever you have to do. Let me say this. To enter in the presence of God, who can do what God wants? Who can fulfill the fullness of the law of God? We are nowhere near that perfection to do and abide by what God does. He showed that in the Old Testament, the Israelite nations. Mm -hmm. They failed him from the word go till the very end. Yeah. But he is the never failing God, his mercy that carries us. So when those religions out there with all love and respect, they talk about laws, I'll ask them, are you fulfilling that law? Of course not. You're falling very short of that law. So don't tell me you have to do this where you are failing as a leader. Your prophet failed those laws. Your own prophet failed them. Who? Muhammad. And the very reason why Muhammad failed because he's dead. Their book says that. But their book also says about my Messiah, even though the Isa in the Quran is not the Christ of the Holy Bible, totally separate people. But let me tell you one thing. Your book says that Isa, son of Mary, went up to heaven alive and he will come back to judge the dead and the living. If I ask a Muslim who judges, they will say God. Well, you're telling me this prophet will judge. So which is which? Has the prophet taken the role of God? Has God gone on vacation and he's come and take his position? No, but Isa is the living Messiah even their book says, I speak Arabic, I read Arabic, I'm fluent in Arabic. When they say, Amma Isa ibn Maryam fahwa kalimatullahi wa ruhan minhu, but Isa son of Mary, Jesus son of Mary, is the word of God and the spirit of God. If you're claiming Isa is a prophet, then how come all the other prophets which you believe in, you believe in Moses, you believe in Isaac, you believe in all the prophets of the Old Testament. How come none of the Old Testament prophets were referred to as the word of God except Isa? Why? How come all the prophets and every single human being on the face of this planet was born of an earthly father and an earthly mother, yet Jesus, son of Mary, was born in a virginal birth? Through a virginal birth, he has an earthly mother, but has no earthly father for his father who art in heaven. When I meet Jesus, I see everyone a piece of dust. What can a man do to me? Oh, they can kill me? Welcome. Why? This raises question marks. How come this man is different? His birth is different. His life is different. Even his end is different. He went up alive and he will come back to judge. Because he is different. That's the whole story. He is different, my dear friend, because he is the living God who was revealed in the flesh. He is the Logos, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the way, the truth and the life, and there is no one else. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yesterday he is, today he is, and forevermore he is. He is the never changing God who was revealed in the flesh over 2000 years ago. And he was crucified, not he was sent up to heaven. No, he was crucified. He died in the flesh on the cross and he was buried, but rose from the dead on the third day, ascended to heaven. And he's been sitting there at the right hand of the father over 2000 years ago. And he will come back again to judge the dead and the living because he's not just a prophet for he is God revealed in the flesh. This is the Jesus I talk about. That's why I fear no one. I fear nothing. Jesus Christ, I not only believe in him, dear Patrick, I know him. I say this with absolute humility. The Lord Jesus revealed himself to this piece of wreck. I don't speak about Jesus just because I believe I'm a Christian or I dress up in this cloth or I have read the Bible, which I have. No, I believe in the Lord and I know the Lord. He is six foot one, long face, tan skin, greenish eyes, browny, crispy hair split in the middle all the way to the shoulders with a very short beard. He has showed me heaven and hell. And let me say this with love and humility. When you go to heaven, I can assure you, I can assure you, not because I'm a Christian, not because I'm a bishop, not because I believe in Jesus Christ, but I can assure you, in heaven, you, Muhammad will not greet you. Muhammad will not greet you. Buddha will not greet you. Krishna will not greet you because they will not 
it was it will be only one who is the way the truth and the life it will be jesus christ of nazareth who died for you and me i'm inviting you to accept jesus as lord and savior because there is no other way if we don't have him we are doomed forever for in him eternal life lies